All right, guys, today uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to be doing an unboxing, an unboxing of an item that I received yesterday from a company called Rebay. Uh, it's a uh, heavy-duty tripod. So I think a lot of my uh, live streamers uh, and my photographers, cinematographers that are just starting out, this will be an excellent, excellent uh, tripod for you guys to get started with. So we're going to get right into it um, this morning. We're going to take a look at this device. We're going to set it up and we're going to look at a lot of the features and also possibly some different accessories that you can connect to it in order to get the best out of this tripod. All right, guys, let's take a look at the tripod itself. OK, guys, this is the case that the Rube tripod comes in. As you guys can see, this is a very robust case. It has a really nice handle here. Um, this is going to be great for carrying this thing around. The material for the case is really nice. It does not feel cheap in any way. And then on the back of the case, um, let me show you guys here, we actually have a shoulder strap. So there's a full length adjustable shoulder strap here as well. I think that's going to be handy, especially if you like me and you carry a bunch of stuff around with you. Now, one of the things that did get my attention with this device, guys, or this case is that it comes with double zippers, okay? That to me is a win. Let me show you guys what I'm referring to. So here's zipper number one, and that's zipper number two. So you actually have a dual zipper system on this case, because you know over time we will break these zippers, and that really comes in handy. Now, of course, you know, it's great to have a new case, it's great to have a great case, but what's inside of it that really matters is going to be our tripod. So let's take a look at what we get inside. All right, so first thing we want to do here is um, release this little hand strap. And then we're going to open up our tripod case. All right, guys. So this is what we got. So you guys can see it is well pa packaged. There is an inside pocket inside of the case itself. Let's see what's inside of the pocket, first of all. So let's go in there. Uh, so we have a little manual. So this is just going to give us some basic information on um, using this tripod, how to set it up, some of the features. Um, yep. Very, very handy. Now, of course, a lot of us probably will never read this <laughs> manual, but it is good that it's here. And you can also use this little pocket, guys, for storing other little accessories. Now, also inside of this case is the actual tripod itself. So let's take that out. All right, so here's the tripod feet at the very end. And let's just get this down on the desk. All right, so here's our tripod. And let's see if there's anything else in the case. Nope, there's nothing else in the case. So here's what you get. So let's just go ahead and unwrap this tripod and take a closer look at it. So in a nutshell, guys, this is a very well built all aluminum um, tripod. And you can see it has many columns here. This is going to give you total adjustment when it comes to your height. Of course, it has a little bit of branding on it as well. And these little knobs here is what's going to allow you to lock your legs in place. And of course, it does have this uh, fluid head. We're going to take a look at these things and, and you know, up close and personal. Now, also inside of the tripod is where you'll find your handle. So it's packaged with the handle inside of the tripod. So just be, you know, be aware of that. And so here's our handle. As you can see here, nice aluminum, really nice little handle here. This is like a rubberized handle. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the feet of this tripod. Okay, so if you guys look closely here at the feet, 
One of the things that did stand out to me about this specific tripod is that these little feet can uh, be recessed backwards. So that means you can kind of flip them up. Okay, I do like that. And you can also, if you want to expose the spikes that are underneath, all you have to do is rotate these in like so. And let's just get this one all the way in. And you guys will start to see the spike will start to reveal itself. Now, where you will need this spike is if you're on like grass or different surfaces where, um, you know, these little rubber feet may not be the best choice, you know, for these being down. So having those little spikes are really going to come in handy. And like I said, you have two of these handles. So you have two, you know, you have one at the top and one at the base. So the, the, the lowest one here is to re release the, the final column for extending the, uh, the uh, tripod. So, and these lock really nice. Okay, I feel really confident with the hand pressure and the size of these. I've had, you know, tripods where these things are really tiny. This is designed for someone with a normal size hand to easily be able to adjust these. So that comes in handy as well. All right, so let's go ahead and put this, this foot back to where it's supposed to be. All right, there we go. That's about normal, I think. Now, I don't think you can screw these all the way off, but let's see. Let's see if we can take it all the way off. Nope, it gets to a stopping point, so it doesn't go all the way off. So I guess that's a good thing, too, because then you don't have to worry about losing one of your feet. So that comes in handy. OK, so now let's take a look at the actual um, head of this tripod. So let's flip this over. OK, guys, so here is the head of the tripod. So this is your fluid head. So on this side here, this is where you're going to have your drag control. This is what's going to allow you to either lock it in place or to add a little bit of drag when it's moving. OK, and then on the opposite side, you have another control. And what that allows you to do is to determine how fast or how slow this is going to uh, go up and down. So you have 75 degrees back. You have 90 degrees forward, which is really good because that means you'll be able to do like some top down shots with this as well. You also have this little knob here. And what that knob does is it locks your quick release plate into place. And then you have a release pin on the opposite side. Now you have a um, 3 8 input right here. That's going to be great if you're going to be adding other accessories. We're going to take a look at some accessories we can connect to this. And you see that we also have the ability to connect our handle on both sides. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, you can you know connect your handle on either side. And this is the button I was talking about for your quick release plate. All right, so let's set this thing up and take a closer look at it. All right, guys, so this is the top-down view of our tripod. So let me get that position for you guys to be able to see it. So right now what you're looking at is the um, quick release plate from a top down view. And to release this plate, you can release here. So that's going to release the tension on it. So now the plate can move forward and back, but it won't come out. See what I mean? It's just going to stay there. It's not going to come out. There's no way for it to come completely free. And then if you want to release the quick release plate, you just press this little button here. And then now you'll be able to take it all the way out. So this is our quick release plate. Now it does come with the two screws that I mentioned before. You have your three eighths and your, your quarter 20. Now you probably most cases will not need both of these. So to remove one of them so that you don't have two of them, you know, on here at all times, there's this little tab right here. You can just press that little tab up like that. And then you can take one of the screws out. So we're going to take the larger screw out because we don't need it which is going to be this one here. OK, now there is a place you can place that if I'm not mistaken. So all you have to do then is push this little tab back in. So you don't have to worry about your other screw, you know, coming free. OK, then on the I think it's this side. Yeah. So you should be able to add your. Three eighths here. And just leave it there, you know, as a spare 
or a backup whenever you need to get to it. It's just right here. So you'll always be able to find it and just keep it there. Now for putting your, uh, mounting your camera onto the tripod, if you notice there's an arrow facing in a certain direction, that's the direction that they intend for you to slide this in from, like that. And then once it's in, it has a locking mechanism so we don't have to worry about it coming out, okay? So I could just get this about wherever I want it, then I could tighten this down, and then it's just gonna stay in place. It's not gonna move at all, so that's perfect. Now, when it comes to connecting the handles, like I said before, we have those two options here. We can connect the handle on either side. Now I'm ambidextrous, but a lot of times I prefer things to be on the left side. So I will probably mount this handle on the left side um, for myself. But most people who are right-handed, they're gonna wanna mount it on this side here. So let me lock this down first to keep it from moving. Okay, so there we go. So let's grab our handle. All right, so here's the handle itself. And like I said, very simple. It has these little teeth and that's what's gonna help secure it when you connect it to um, the, the uh, fluid head. So usually what I do is I just, you know, get it started. So I'm just gonna start tightening it down just a little bit so you guys can see what's going on here. So I would just start, you know, tightening it down, just screwing it in. Be careful not to strip anything and you'll start to see those teeth starting to lock in, right? That's what you want. So once you get to that point, let's go out a little bit here. All right. So once you get to that point, you can then start to adjust the handle. So what I like to do is I like my handle to be inverted and I'll show you this uh, a little bit later, but I like to adjust it where it's right about level with the, with the, with the uh, fluid head itself. And then you can just tighten this down, you know, to your, to however you want it. And now you're going to have the control here for your panning and for your tilting. So I have the tilt locked right now, but if I want to tilt and if I want to pan, I have control to do that. Okay. Now these um, tripods also come with a bubble level. You guys can see the little bubble level here, and that's gonna help you make sure that your camera is level as well as your fluid head is level as well. And I'm gonna show you how to adjust the fluid head a little bit later. Now you can control some of the, um, the drag here. So I can turn this a little bit, and it's just gonna give it just a little bit more. So like when I pull this back and release it, you guys see it wants to go back to center, which is good. Now, of course, you can slow that down even more, like so. And then if you open it all the way up and we do the same thing, look at how fast it goes back up, okay? So you have control over that, you know, granular control over how fast your camera will go back up. And it's gonna be the same if you were going from the opposite direction as to how fast the camera will come back down. Now, of course, with the camera weight on here, that's gonna have a factor. So you do wanna make sure that you are leveling out the camera and able to, uh, to prevent you know, any you know, friction or any problems that you're gonna have. Now for your panning, there's another little knob right here, and this is what controls the pan. So if you lock this off like that, now you will not be able to pan the tripod. And then if you want to free that up, you would just release it. And now that will engage or enable you to now pan with this tripod, just like that, okay? All right, so that's some of the basic features. And like I said, you know, we do have, you know, another quarter 20 here on the side, so we could mount something on that. And we probably will this morning, we'll mount like a magic arm just so we can add accessories. Now the camera that I'm currently using to show you guys this, I'm actually gonna mount this camera uh, at some point today on this. Now you do have this little, um, this little depression. I don't know what they call these, but these just basically keep the camera from sliding. So once you have your camera mounted on here, uh, that'll prevent it from sliding. So I do wanna show you guys something here with this little um, quick release plate. So if we take our quick release plate off again, as you see, this is just a standard screw um, for you know connecting this. So I always recommend having one of those little handy tools, you know, multi-tools, that way that, you know, if you have to tighten something up, you can always have access to it. Now, some of these will have like an Allen key hole for it as well. This one, unfortunately, does not, but I think it's still gonna do an amazing job. Now, like I said, this will go up to about 70 inches, which is pretty good for a tripod, you know, in this range. 
And from what I can tell so far, this fluid head is very, very nice, very fluidy. As you would say, you know, it has uh, just enough uh, uh, tension and you can feel that when you're moving it around. So I'm going to expand this up a little bit so we can take a closer look at it from the main camera. Just like that. So in a nutshell, this is what we got in our box. We got the Rube um, tripod, mostly metal. This is the DV1 tripod. So yeah, guys, this is going to be a very good asset for a lot of people getting started. Uh, I'm going to be using this here in the studio and most likely out on location as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited um, to the potentials of this tripod. Now, like I did say before, this can go up much higher. So we can get this tripod up to 70 inches. Now, if I do that, you won't be able to see it in the shot, but I definitely can, you know, ensure you that, you know, you can get it to that height. So hopefully, you know, if you guys are interested in a tripod, this could be exactly what you're looking for.